Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. Today's video is an Abercrombie haul. I was just browsing the web as I normally do and I ended up on Abercrombie's website. I saw that everything was 20 to 30% off, so I got sucked into placing an order. I'm super happy I did too because I'm so obsessed with all the pieces that I got. Some of the pieces are perfect for current trends and others are just really great transitional pieces from winter into spring. I'm so excited to share with you everything, so I'm not gonna wait any more time let's just go ahead and jump on into it so the very first piece that I picked up is this gorgeous camel sweater tank pieces like this are perfect for the transition into spring because it's a sweater material but it's in a tank form I'm a big fan of sweater materials that are converted into tank tops and stuff like that Zara always happens to have those and I always pick them all up when I see them but it's especially popular for this season the sweater material you're gonna see it on absolutely everything Thing, like in tank top form and dresses in vests like sleeveless vests are coming back so I feel like this piece not only is it just like a classic silhouette but it's definitely gonna be perfect for this season and the current trends I like the thick straps on it it does have a square neck in the front and in the back too it has a good amount of coverage in the front which I really like and it's more like form-fitting and it's longer too so it looks really good with high-waisted items especially if you just don't want your stomach to show this sort of piece I'm so so obsessed with and the color is just to die for that comes in multiple colors too so this is definitely a really good item the next piece I picked up I actually got it in two colors I got it in a black color and in an olive green color too but it is this halter style racer back bodysuit that is ribbed it just screamed my name I thought that this was gonna be perfect not only for spring and like adding layers on top of it like with a jacket or some sort of flannel or anything on top but also for the summertime this would be a really good piece to carry over into summer I got both of these in a size extra extra small the front halter piece it does cut in quite a bit so this isn't a piece that I can wear a bra with maybe you can wear like a wireless bra or something but I just opted for no bra when wearing this so just a heads up if you're someone that likes to wear bras with all of their tops you might have to think of some sort of alternative for this one but I love the racer back the length of it is really good for the torso and for the bottom of it it is a button closure and it is a thong bodysuit too which is nice the olive green color is really pretty I think I was expecting this to be a little bit more olivey it's kind of a brighter green at least in person I was expecting it to be like a little bit more muted in olive green hopefully that makes sense to you guys it's still a gorgeous color but just not in line with what I was expecting it to be this does come in more colors like white and I think a gray as well so really just a great staple and a basic to add to your wardrobe for me you can never have it too many basics so when I saw this white tee I wanted to pick it up and try it I liked that it was a little bit longer but it was still like a tight rib tee you'll see in the try on this is so easy to just tuck in to high-waisted jeans and it's not gonna bulge or anything because it's not too long and it actually stays in place which is really nice but of course if you didn't want to tuck it in it's not too long either it just hits I think an inch or two below like where your high-waisted jeans would be I got this in a size extra small this does come in multiple colors too the construction of this is seamless so if you guys are familiar with like the seamless materials that's what it feels like it's still soft but it's like a little bit more stiff than a cotton t-shirt or something like that so heading on into jackets and coats this is probably like my favorite category Abercrombie has so many good jackets and coats it honestly kind of blew my mind perfect for the trends going on right now things were in stock the silhouettes were perfect it was just everything that I was wanting so I was really excited so the first piece that I wanted to share with you guys is a shirt jacket I am all here for the jacket this season it is the perfect combination of just an oversized shirt but in a jacket form so it's just nice and cozy especially since the temperatures are still trying to rise at least here in Seattle I'm still trying to get a good 60 degree weather so this sort of thing is absolutely perfect for me so I got it in this gorgeous off-white color I got it in a size extra extra small it is 
so incredibly soft and like plush. It's gorgeous. The material is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love the silver button details that go all the way down and it's just button closure, so nice and easy. It has two pockets on the front and obviously two pockets on the side too. And for the silhouette, it looks like a normal shirt. So it goes up on the sides and it's longer in the front and in the back. Abercrombie is really good about having like a wide range of sizes, but also to fit different heights. So they typically offer things for petite, regular, tall, or short and seam, regular long and seam, which I absolutely love. I kind of wish that they came out with this in something that was petite. And the reason why I say that is because on the shoulders where the top of the sleeve hits, whatever this section is called, it kind of like bunches out. So it just makes my shoulders look more broad. I'm not really a fan of that with other shirt jackets. I feel like it typically just relaxes and falls down a little bit. So this one's just a little bit more stiffer. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but maybe that's just on me and my frame. So of course, just really quickly wanted to mention it, but overall, this is just such a great jacket. This next piece is probably one of my favorite things for this entire haul. I've been on the hunt for just like the perfect trench coat and something that would fit my frame. It's so difficult to find things that will fit me because I'm so petite. And I should have known to look on Abercrombie. Honestly, it's my bad. But we ended up there eventually and I am so happy that I found this and it was in my size and then it came and it fits like a dream. I am so happy. What is spring without a good trench coat and especially this season, trench coats are just all over the place and it looks so good with loungewear and like a matching sweatsuit. I am so obsessed with that look. So anyways, this is the trench coat that I got. It's in this khaki sort of color and I got it in a size extra, extra small petite. So this does come in petite, regular or tall, which is really, really amazing. It's wind resistant and water resistant material. This isn't suede, but it kind of has like a, a softer feel to it and the details all over I love like I just love the tortoise color buttons and on the sleeves it has a little buckle on it which I think is really cute detail the pockets are good and then for the belts I kind of just like wrap it and tie it in the back and it helps to cinch in your waist a little bit too especially if you don't want to close the jacket and you just kind of want to leave it open it's a good little tip for you guys and for the length of it it does hit at my calf maybe like my upper calf but it's a really good length so again I'm 5'1 so if that's ideally where you want it to hit I would maybe order petite or if you're a little bit taller just adjust it accordingly with going regular or tall as well but really really super excited for this find the next two pieces I was super excited for as well I've been on the hunt for like the perfect wool jackets and so I got like this off-white color but then I also got a cream color I have like a darker camel jacket that took me a really long time to find it too again for like sizing reasons so I'm really happy that I came across these on Abercrombie. So I got these in a size extra, extra small, petite, the perfect size for me in these. And they call these a dad coat, which I love because it's not super form fitting. It's kind of looser and it does have like a little bit more room without being oversized. So it's really easy to layer sweatshirts or something bulkier underneath too for the winter time, but it's also super perfect for the springtime too. Wool jackets are super warm, but it really doesn't compare to like my big puffer jackets. Those keep me extremely warm in the winter time. And for wool coats that you typically have to like layer a bunch, at least for me to stay super warm but for the springtime I love to bust them out especially like these lighter tones the cream and the off whites because I think it looks really good paired with really any sort of outfit again loungewear with these sort of jackets it's like the perfect offset I'm loving that trend right now but of course if you want to pair with jeans a tank top underneath a t-shirt a hoodie with some leggings adding some Doc Martens or something in the mix I think that that would look really great too so the inside of these jackets are fully lined it looks like a silky sort of material the sleeves are a perfect length and the length of it is a really good length too it has some weight to it and it's just overall really good quality and construction I'm actually really really impressed with this jacket it's not cheap looking at all and thank god because these aren't necessarily that expensive I did get them on sales so I think I paid about $90 each for it so just look out for their sales because these do go on sale and you can get them at a really good price but 
I mean, these are just classic jackets that carry over from year to year, season to season. So if you're still looking to build a really good capsule wardrobe, I would highly recommend these jackets, whether you want to get it an off-white, this cream, beigey color, a camel color, or black, stick with like the neutrals and it would be paired with any outfit. Okay, so now for bottoms, another really great category. I have a huge smile on my face because there are no words. These are so good. Abercrombie is just a gold mine for bottoms and jeans. The washes are good, the styles are super good, so really exciting. So the first piece I wanted to share are these faux leather pants. This silhouette of pant has been the absolute trend for winter and I can see it still being the trend going into spring too. So I of course needed to pick up a pair. The best part about these is that it is the perfect dupe for the Ritzia Molina pant. Those pants are like $150 and these ones were $79. I think I paid $65 though because it was on sale but still a fraction of the price and they look and fit the exact same the inside feels a little bit different but that's okay it's still a fraction of the price so if you're wanting to get the Ritzia Molina pants but don't want to drop $150 for it I would highly recommend checking these out the fit of them like I said is just exactly the same so these are advertised as a straight leg ankle length but I wanted them to be full length or at least a little bit more fuller length than ankle length so I ended up getting these in my typical size a 24 but in regular so they do offer this in short regular and long inseam so I opted for regular and it hits me just a little bit below my ankle, which I'm actually really happy with that length. However, if you want them to be longer, I would opt for getting the long inseam. But of course, if you want them to be cropped, then get your normal inseam as well. The look of these are incredible because up close, it looks kind of pebbly. It looks like real leather. They are high rise with a button and zip closure. The waist of these are incredible. There's no gapping. It actually makes your butt look really good. So I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this find, especially with them being really great dupes I'm really excited for this pair and I highly recommend that you check them out so far they look so good paired with like the trench coat with like a cream color top underneath with a zip up or hoodie with sneakers I'm just having so much fun styling these and they are absolutely amazing so this next pair of jeans I raved about already in my last vlog so if you watched my vlog you would have already seen me talk about these jeans and I had to talk about them because it was just one of the most exciting things from this entire haul that I found I was super impressed with them. So these are the 90s relaxed fit jean and it's full length and it's kind of like not straight but not wide but a perfect in between leg width opening that is just been so hard to find especially for being 5'1". So this color is a light wash but they didn't have it in a short inseam so I opted for getting a size 24 regular length inseam. So you'll see in the try on it is what? two, three inches, a little too long. So I'll just go get these altered and hemmed. It's not a big deal at all, but I'm absolutely gonna be stalking that product page for more washes and everything to come out in this because I just think it's the perfect silhouette. This jean style is becoming the new trend and I'm so here for it. So a little bit about the fit. They are high rise. It does have a button and zip closure. The waist of them, similar to the vegan leather pants, it's so perfect. There's no gapping. It makes your butt look so good. I'm actually really, excited for these they are a little bit more fitted through the thigh so not like super loose which I love and this wash you guys I am so obsessed with light wash jeans so I'm just over here drooling and obsessing and super excited about them the next pair of jeans is absolutely the same story as the last pair of jeans that I just shared with you. Abercrombie is on a roll. I am so excited for these washes and just like the fit of them. So this is the ankle straight ultra high rise jeans. It's the curve love, which I'm a huge fan of because it'll make the waist tighter, but then it still fits your butt like absolutely incredibly. I got these in a size 24 short, which is perfect for my height because it does hit right at my ankle, right where it's supposed to. If you want these to be full length instead of ankle, I mean, why not try that? Just maybe go with a different inseam length, both regular or maybe tall to have it be longer. I don't see why you couldn't do that either. They don't need to be strictly ankle length, the jeans, you know? And for the last pair, I forgot to mention, but there's really no stretch in them at all. So this pair does offer a little bit more stretch, which is really nice. And all of their jeans comes in so many different washes. Like this one comes in a black wash that I've been eyeing that has rips on it so obsessed with them. But really good jeans. I would highly recommend that you check out Abercrombie, see their jean selection, and try out a pair. I 
feel like you guys would really really enjoy them and the prices are incredible too i think for this pair i paid 65 dollars and the same for the last pair of jeans 65 dollars so it's a little bit more expensive than say zara but definitely less expensive than levi's or a goldie jeans or stuff like that and it has like the exact same style and washes and stuff which is really nice all right, well that wraps up the haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up. All the exact links for everything I mentioned will be down in the description along with the color and sizing information as I always do. My measurements are listed down there as well. Please make sure that you're subscribed before you leave and also make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I'm being so much more consistent over there and I'm so proud of myself for that. So go show me some love. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Thank you.